Hey guys, Brenda Under Productions here, and welcome to my fifth Java tutorial. Now, before you start complaining because this, because this is a not a VB.NET tutorial, I'll get those out soon enough. It's just I have a lot to cover in Java before I actually get back into VB.NET. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to create your own methods that return variables and also have parameters. Okay, so before you go asking what the heck does that mean, uh, as you can see here, uh, where it says static scanner input equals new scanner and then we open parentheses and then type system dot in this section right here is actually called a parameter which is a uh, option if you will so the option is what do you want to scan and in this case we're scanning system dot in so we're going to be doing the same thing with a method we're going to create a method and ask something about the method so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it so, when creating a method, of course, the first word you need is public to make sure that the whole project can access this method. And then we're also going to type static because we are not using object-oriented programming just yet. And then normally when creating a method, we would type void. However, for this tutorial, we are actually going to return something in our method, um, so we do not need void. Void just tells Java that the method does not return anything, so we're going to avoid that. And then we're going to name this method hello. And then we're going to open up parentheses and close the parentheses, it automatically does. And uh, then we need to type in a few parameters that the, um, that the method is actually going to receive. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the input, just like we did before, and send it to this method that we're creating now. And if the input is a certain something, it will display a message. So what we need to do is actually create a parameter where the, where the actual typed in input will be stored. So we're going to be call it, well first we need to declare its type, which is a string, and then we're going to call it message. And that's the parameter. And now we just get to open up the curly brackets like we would normally do with a uh, method. And of course it gives us a little error message, just because. And uh, it's telling us to set the method return type to void because it's not returning anything. However, once we return something, this error message will go away. So what we want to do is say if, and we're going to see if the message is high, then we're going to do state back, or we're going to return something to state back. So we can easily access this message parameter by simply typing in message. So if message dot equals high, then we are going to then we are going to open up curly brackets and uh, this is what we're going to do if the message is high. We are going to return hello. However, if the message does not equal high, we are going to return goodbye. And we I forgot the semicolons after these return messages. And now we're actually done creating this little method. Um, uh, it still wants us to... Oh, right, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, so what we've got so far is if this variable that we're going to see how that works soon equals high, then we are going to return hello. So we're actually going to send hello back to the application. However, if message is anything other than high, we're going to return goodbye. So now that we've actually got our return uh, message set up, we can realize that we're returning things called strings, which are just a string of characters. And um, yes, so we actually need to declare this in the method name. So we type public static and then the type of thing that it is going to return, which in this case is a string. And then all error messages go away and we're all good. It even highlights the string and then the two corresponding factors inside the method. So now we can actually call this method, uh, which we're going to do here. So, so far in our input test method, which we made in part four, we have message, the string message, which takes the input of the next line, which is just what the user types. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to activate the hello method, which we created down here, and send it what we've typed. So we're going to type hello, and then we need to open up parentheses and close parentheses. And then right here is the parameter we need to provide. We need to provide the parameter of the message that is sent 
in the form of a string, which up here is kind of already done because um, we've got the form of a string and this variable called message. So we're just going to want to send in message. And uh, then we provide a semicolon. So what it does is that actually um, calls in the uh, the sub, or not the sub, the method. So just by typing in this, we're sending this input to this, and um, it automatically activates. However, if we just use this line, we are not making good use of our t return functions, which actually return something. So what we can actually do is type in system dot out dot print line and um, we can type in or just with this we can activate the um, method and we can get the value that is returned by just typing in the or calling the method inside of this print statement so we're going to call a hello and as you remember the message is message and um, there we go we just put a semicolon at the end of this statement and we're all good so what we do here an overview of the code is first we import the scanner so we can actually scan the text that is imported or input and then we create the class this is, has to be done with every project and then we're initializing the scanner so we can actually use it and then in it, as soon as our program starts we're going to activate the input test method which is right here which creates a string that contains the uh, the text of what is actually input by the user and then we are printing the line of whatever this method hello returns uh, and we're sending it over the uh, input so it takes the input and if the input is high then it's going to return hello which will then backtrack and print out hello on this print line however if it is not high it will return goodbye and then it will backtrack and print out goodbye on this line so let's go ahead and test it out so the first thing we can test out is by actually typing in hi and if we do this it should return us with hello which it does it just gives us hello back so now we're going to run it again and type in something other than hi I'm going to type in hello and it returns goodbye because we did not type in hi so this has been a basic tutorial on how or a Java tutorial on how to um, create methods that return and use parameters so more extensive information on methods thanks for watching please remember to rate comment subscribe please give your thoughts in the comments i really do appreciate any thoughts you have to offer and um... thanks for watching have an awesome day talk to you guys later